Resident Evil 5, a heated topic. Resident Evil 5. Now, I did make a Google search and not many people is discussing about Resident Evil 5 Remake or Resident Evil 5. Possibly because of, well, the settings. It's in Africa. Many woke leftist activists, mobs, or anything, they hate that game. And IGN even says that that game cannot be remade, it had to be rewritten, which is absurd and BS. It's in Africa. It's been in Antarctica. It's been, I think, in Spain. It's been in the Midwest. It wasn't racist then. Why should it be racist now? It's in Africa. Have fun with the game. Play the game. Let me tell you this. Resident Evil 5 takes place after Resident Evil 4. Exception is that in the game, it's a different thing. Resident Evil Revelation was the one first. It's a bit complicated, which I'm not certain if Capcom gonna do this chronologically after Resident Evil 4, because they still need to introduce Chris Redfield, because we haven't heard anything from him since Resident Evil 3 Remake. Yes, there are mentions, but we don't get to see Chris Redfield's face or any pictures. There are no mentions. Yes, we get to see Rebecca Chambers, but no Chris Redfield. I could be wrong on this. Resident Evil 5 is, yes, takes place in a fictionalized version of Africa. Like people say, it's in Africa. Just have fun with the game. Play the game. The first improvement, I believe, is that this game don't race swap, okay? I mean, regardless, you had to fix Sheva's AI. I think that's the one thing you had to do. Make her compatible. And the next one is the shop and inventory system. Now, unlike Resident Evil 4 Remake, Resident Evil 4 has the merchant, while Resident Evil 5 doesn't. Before you even enter a chapter or anything, you have to purchase some stuff, upgrade. Even the money system is a bit concerned or a bit problem because I don't know if you know this, but sometimes I have to use a cheat engine just to increase my money, you know, to upgrade all the weapons. When you get to a certain places to fight bosses or anything, those bosses get super tough. Trust me, I don't know how many times I've lost. I mean, I lose count. I feel like I was playing Dark Souls for this matter. And the inventory, another thing, is that could be an improvement because each have nine slots, okay? That's good if you manage it correctly. Like for me, I normally like to put the healing items to Sheva so that she can heal me. So I only pick three weapons that I know because this is a problem when it comes to that. Gonna have to leave at least another three or perhaps two slots for hidden weapons. And this is the problem when it comes to that. Sometimes hidden weapons, the location are, well, some easy to get, some are harder. Like I give you, for example, there's one where you have to face Evil Jill and Wesker. There was a Desert Eagle. And even during that time, it's hard to get it because you need your partner to help you. And you have to face, what, Wesker at the same time? That's pretty much a flaw, which I hope Capcom can recognize that. And there are many things like, of course, the vehicle chase, which one of the things you should know that I think the first thing they can do it, but I think they should give both characters a minigun because it rotates slowly, but perhaps they could put a what's called a heat meter similar to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, the OG. There's a heat meter while you are mounting a minigun. Weapons, uh, there were a variety. Some had to be purchased, which, okay. The another thing we need to address is during the final fight. I mean, two times, the first phase and then second phase, that's good. Just like in Resident Evil 4 Remake, I hope the final ending is still the same. Now, I'm not certain if they're going to cut some stuff. We all seen what happened with Resident Evil 3 Remake. They cut a few things because Resident Evil 5, if it were to do a remake, I'm not certain if many people is going to cover it. I mean, gamers will buy it, but it'll be a similar situation to Hogwarts Legacy or Stellar Blade. People will buy it and it will never mention by any mainstream or perhaps any media in the mainstream industry or video game journalist. It's not going to be mentioned because of its setting. Fictionalized version of Africa. That's the thing. Now, enemies, some of them are... I think you can dispatch it with a bazooka, but the Reapers are the one thing that people have either love or hated because they spawn sometimes randomly. Yes, first encounter is okay, you can know that. But the next one, there are times where they spawn randomly after that. Well, the rest it should be DLC like Lost in Nightmares and the Escape or something. I don't know what it says. It will be a hot topic. However, video game journalists, they're not going to pick it up. Even if this game was remake, many video game journalists like IGN, Kotaku, they're not picking the story up. They're not reviewing it. Frosty down there. 
leave a like and subscribe comment down below what do you guys think if you have any suggestion put it in the comments and if you want to see woke or anti-woke detected you can visit my third channel up here